you got to get us all, Jenny. Very impressive performance tonight. Bryant, bye-bye, Jenny. Sent, sent former world champion Sergey Lyakovich bye-bye after nine rounds tonight. Uh, just the general feeling around ringside. Um, obviously, I pretty much have seen every one of your fights. There are a lot of people here in the building who have never seen you before. All came away very impressed as we see your team, Fred Jenkins, and everyone getting involved here. Uh, talk about the fight. After, I guess the you know, first couple rounds seemed like you know, he wanted to impose his will. You, you, you're the one who acted like the veteran tonight in that fight. Yeah, well, I, I, still, I still was cautious the whole time. There's a lot more I could have done. Uh, I still was trying to get the groove. I still was trying to, you know, figure him out, you know, but, but, in, but in lieu of me, you know, adjusting the way I adjusted, I still figured him out that way. You know, I didn't execute my, you know, my filling out process too good, but it worked and then you couldn't tell. By the mid rounds, were you surprised how easy it was to hit him? Yeah, but then I always, then I thought, I thought he would come with something. I'm like, come on, you just ain't gonna be standing there and just taking this. I'm thinking, you know, come on, where's that veteran? Where's, where's, the, where's the experience? You know, everybody kept talking about, come on, where's, where's this, where's, where's, where's this other surgery that I'm, that I'm looking for? You know, and he wasn't, he didn't show. How much uh, confidence now? We're about a half hour after the fight. How much confidence do you have right now? That as opposed to, you know, your ability to what maybe you can do, as opposed to maybe you were an hour ago? Uh, well, well the, the confidence, you know, it went up a little higher, but I always had high confidence in what I do. You know, uh, I, have, I have confidence to the highest level, and that's the way it's going to be, because, you know, I, you know, you work hard, you do, every, you do everything right, you know, your confidence should still be there. You know? after, after the Byron fight, a lot of people are like, okay, you know, maybe he beat a guy who had only 12, 13 fights, you know, Maybe, maybe he is, maybe he's not for real. Now you beat a guy who's a legitimate former world champion. Um, where's that, I mean, uh, are you ready for, 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 the, for the big boys of this uh, division? I, 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 next. I thought he was supposed to have been a big boy. Uh, I don't see too many other big boys. It might be, it may be other guys, but you know, it's, you know, you, you figure you find that out in the fight. You know, I'm, I'm up there, yes I am up there. The boxing media is, and you know, you follow has been desperately uh, seeking out the next American, you know, to challenge, you know, for what, what you know, not even necessarily for the heavyweight the, the division, the, the heavyweight championship, but at least time, try to create some noise. You think tonight you uh, gave the media and the boxing public something to talk about Sunday, Monday morning at the yeah, water coolers? I, I, I should have. I should have. And uh, only for the fact that, you know, I know I was doubted. I know they doubted me big time. And uh, for the fact that I did exceed expectations, you know, beautifully, uh, I think. It's, it's only right for them to say say something. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't say something. Maybe they you know, turn their head and be like, "Damn, uh, you know, you know they, they was wrong." But you know, it, it deserves it deserves a speech. Want to want to ask your uh, trainer Fred Jenkins something? A lot of people thought it was pretty ambitious of you guys to, to accept this fight, considering he was supposed to fight Chambers, who's one fight removed from fight from a world championship, and now here's Brian Jennings, who you know really isn't. One of the bigger names heavyweight division. What went into your thought process taking this fight? I want to give all the glory to God for this victory. And you got to understand when something is small and people don't expect expect things to happen. That's my challenge. When people say a guy can't, man don't rule the world. God rule the world. When when, when people say he can't, God always say it can happen. And so all we did was worked hard. Prepare, prepare for the fight, and we prove ourselves in the ring. We, nobody, we couldn't say nothing. To nobody, we, we, could nobody say anything outside the ring. We had to wait till we get in the four squares and do our job. That's Fred Jenkins Jr. Also uh, getting, yeah. getting his words in. Uh, you've been around your long time Philadelphia guy. Maybe too many years that you even want to remember. Nin what, what, 1971, you, and a lot of people. A lot of people come in the gym and they pretend to be fighters and they want to be actors. But this is a real fighter. This is not TV. This is real heavyweight fighter for America. You've, you've been around, you said your gym, you've probably had hundreds of world champions yes. walk through the, yes. the doors of your gym. We're, we're, I mean, what's Brian Jennings' potential I've in your I've never opinion? seen a fighter that listened and trained in the gym in my whole career like him but my son all right so and he, he, and he and he has to, and he has to do that he has to yeah, he has to so <laughs> he, he, don't he, have he to. can't say, say no, no your son you he have to, he, he have to do it but he he never 
what, it, what else? He always said to me, what else you want to do? Whatever I told him to do, he said, what else? And, and, and he still learned. And he still learned. Last question. Is he ready for a top 10 type of guy? or? So, yes, is he ready for a top 10 guy? That's my man, Silky so. Jackson. Oh, man. We're not, listen. We, 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 we real fighters. We're not acting. If, not if, acting if, if the heavyweight champ calls us for three, three months from now and say we'll fight, forget all the rules that man made uh, our government by. Just, just, just this championship, that championship. Let's break the rules. We want Plisco's now. He stopped playing around with TV and letting you fight. All the last four fights he had wasn't better than Jenkins. All the guys he fought. We take Plisco now. We're not playing a game like we pretending to be fighters. We saying we are the real deal. We come in to fight. Okay. We fight. Well, one last question. Uh, I know, Guy, I'm sure you know real well. How about the winner, maybe Chaz Witherspoon and Seth Mitchell? Is that something that you, you'd be interested in? We're not interested in that. We're no? interested in... You asked the top ten. We, 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 we're okay. interested in, in the chances you go. Well, well, I mean, Mitchell wins. They, they, well, they, they, still not we, we, we ain't going by no rules. We want, we want Clisco now before he quit. Yeah, he ain't be we want the Clisco now. Two fight deal, brother one and second brother two. You, you, we ain't got time to mess around. You heard that Bryant Jennings, Fred Jenkins, Fred hey, Jenkins Jr. This is real, this ain't no acting. All you guys in the gym acting like you fighters. Pretending to be fighters. Looking for this and looking for that. We looking for a fight in the four squares. We represent ourselves in America. and America. And, and God. All the glory go to God. This is not a man-made move. This is a God move. Yes, he is. We'll see you. Elite class. We'll Elite class. We'll, 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 we'll see you on. We'll, we'll, we'll see you on some network soon. Congratulations.